if you're not careful uh, and you are trying to jump into some kind of spiritual life and you don't know what the hell you're doing and you contact the uh, demonic side, you're in big trouble. Yeah, because you can still get the physical miracles that you're talking about. This is why I asked you this question. Yeah, see, what she said is, that's, that's why when Luke Skywalker says to Yoda, is the dark side stronger? And Yoda says, no, quicker, faster, more seductive. And that's how they catch you. Because that's what they do. That's part of the seduction process. Provide for you this or that, or make this happen, that happen. That's why you have to be very, very careful. And the dark side uh, is, right now, the dark side is knocking the living hell out of the light side. A lot of people are trying to tell you otherwise, but they don't know nothing from nothing. How do you discern? Now, knowing that the other side is quicker, faster, more cunning, how do you discern? How do you know who ate you or who took your bum? Uh, she, she brings up a good question. Um... Well, one of the one of the only ways you can really do it is if you've developed enough consciousness to recognize the difference. Um, if if consciousness is developed to a certain degree, you won't get fooled. Mm -hmm. That's one way. The other way is um, you 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 do real sincere. Uh, prayer or um, requesting that you are brought to the actual divine, to the actual uh, great compassion light, or if you like, let's say you love Jesus, you want to have a real bond, and and you say, tell the divine, say, I I don't have enough knowledge to be able to tell the difference, so I'm relying on you to protect me. And take me there. And then and you have to, uh, like I say, work on elevating consciousness. It's a long process. Mm -hmm. When I when I was uh, younger, I went through uh, elementals and uh, the, like the Wiccan kind of stuff. I went through. Oh, so many different ways. And I also tried the approach of following big uh, uh, spiritual leaders. I did uh, four years of intensive tasawuf, uh, Sufism. Like when I say intensive, I, I'm not a, I'm the real deal. So I'm not playing games. And I served the Mufti of Cyprus, Malana Sheikh Nazim himself. So he, he was a real Sheikh. And if he waves his hand, all the lights turn on in the entire building. He waves his hand, lights shut off. You're in pain. He goes like that. It's gone. I saw him materialize, dematerialize. I have lots of experience with him. However, uh, the the Sufi uh, tradition is still a l very low level, where they are uh, the sheikhs themselves are concerned with their. Uh, their CD, their personal power. Mm -hmm. Always remember when it comes to personal power, when uh, Frogo offered the ring to Gandalf and Gandalf said, don't tempt me, Frodo. And he, re he said, understand, I would try to use this ring for good, but through me, it would cause more uh, uh Terrible things and what and you can imagine. So uh, Gandalf is, is explaining that if you have a CD of some kind, it takes tremendous maturity and huge uh, level to handle that responsibility. Are, are they so, even compatible, the two, having so much CD and, and being highly conscious? They're compatible, okay. but not, not necessarily. When you watch, uh, say, Qigong people, Mm -hmm. And they they work for years and years and years, decades to get special special abilities. They don't they don't necessarily have the consciousness of a dead fish. It's mm -hmm. just that they've developed a 
um, it's like looking at a car, honey. If you have a car, and let's say I we take my simple car here, and we take it to a mechanic, and he starts outfitting this thing with all kinds of souped-up stuff. It's still a Vios, but it's got a souped-up manifold, and I don't know what the hell you call those things. And all of a sudden, it looks like a big fancy car. That's what the CD guy is. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't, it, it has no relevance to his consciousness. Let's talk about your transformation. I'm curious how this happened. Because you mentioned you went for four years or for eight years through these sacred rooms. So it was a process, but it didn't make it for you. What, what made the change? The rewriting. Well, you can't even believe how much transformation happened to me. Um... So I've trained, you know, I've trained uh, now professional uh, Zen sword uh, Aikido for over 46 years. And I train under the highest masters in the world. So in each of the lineages, those are unbroken lineages. So they're real masters. It's not studying under Harry, who learned from Fred, who happened to go to a kickboxing thing and combine that with you know, whatever the hell it is. I, I'm the real deal. And I never and I, I have all kinds of physical expertise, but I net my consciousness didn't grow any anywhere. Nothing. I can focus, but no consciousness. The other thing was I had no um no matter how many degrees or whatever I learned, I never could make a dime. And uh so I was I lived in a state of frustrated rage. I had so much rage in me, my back broke in half when I was 27 in a weight uh, in a weight room in the University of Windsor. And I developed uh, later on when I went to become a doctor and found out that was all corrupted to hell. I developed a huge cataracts from the because uh, I couldn't stand to see what I was looking at. And I also developed cancer in my uh, right chest. And all that is epigenetics. If you, you know, I, mean, I think you know what epigenetics is. Uh -huh. So what happened was when I moved to Georgia and met Dr. Habersky and started to learn what cognitive dissonance was, he was using his expertise one to three times a week for eight years. He was eliminating all of the 27 years of programming I had received since childhood against money. So I had massive programming for lack and uh, poverty. So we had to get rid of all that. And then Why when did I, it take when so I, long? Why did it take so long? Well, uh, uh, you have to understand the nature of the, of the quantum field. So the, the subconscious mind records uh, at a rate of 40 million bits of information per second 24-7, 365 days a year. Now, the fundamental strata of the software that runs your life is formed from the time of your conception until the end of age six. That's approximately 10 quadrillion bits of information, and none of it belongs to you. It's only your mother, your father, and the environment. That's all. And it's all uh, recorded as fact. 40 million bits per second. So then that's your fundamental software for survival. And then at the age of seven, the frontal cortex, which is as weak as water, it turns on. It only processes 40, 40, 40 bits of information per second. It's only active a maximum of 5% of the day. And when you see people that walk around with a mask on, it's probably not operating at all. So the subconscious is, seriously, so the subconscious is running everything and it gives you your perceptions. Then your, your perception gives you your vibration and that, and therefore by the law of resonance, you have your life. You have your health, your death, who you marry, who divorces you, your children, where you live, it's all there. And it's all by resonance. The resonance comes from the programming in the subconscious that gives you the frequency. So um, I grew up 
all of the programming from daddy, a real good man from Poland, but he was born and raised during the Great Depression from Polish immigrants. So Pop, even though he, we always were okay, he was an electrician, we were middle class, but he has pure poverty consciousness, pure poverty consciousness. And then when I, when I entered Japanese society to be a professional martial artist, my teacher was Kushida. Now Kushida, I worshipped him like a god because I was just a little, a young kid. He had, he was a complete liar. He was a great martial artist. He's a complete liar. All he cared about was money. But he taught all of us that money was dirty and filth. The samurai never touch money. Only women touch money. Samurai don't touch money. So I believe that garbage. So I, I associated being a man in the samurai. I don't touch money. So what does universal consciousness do? Universal consciousness only knows one word. Okay. So it endorses your consciousness and your belief as okay 24-7. So if you the reason I asked, sorry for to interrupt this beautiful story. No. It's, it's really insightful. But the reason I asked why it took so long is is that I myself am practicing in groups, also the silver method for rewriting experiencing and another yeah, silver. That's methodology. What I use. Yeah, and another methodology uh, which is derived from a Russian governmental agency for rewriting these energy blocks. And so uh -huh. I can tell you that this can happen overnight. Really, it doesn't happen over the years. That's why I I asked. Maybe here's maybe. why it happens overnight, honey. There, there's some caveats to this. Yes, so yes. I mean, you... of course, you cannot clear everything because it's a network. So clearly you're taking one piece out and maybe something else will appear. And, and then it another de lesson yeah, opens it, it, up. It depends on the system that you're using. Like if your system is super good and a lot of the Russian systems I know firsthand are, are absolutely brilliant. They're the other thing is, systems, yeah. mm -hmm. if if the system, if you're lucky enough, when you're doing those clearings, that they get the main pillar, the main the main um, download supporting mm -hmm. the problem you have now, it'll collapse, right? And you'll be up on top. So sometimes, in my case now, my system is 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 very advanced compared to what Dr. Obersky was doing. Because mm -hmm. mine is a uh, depth healing combines my mystic uh, abilities and knowledge with uh, the science. So my mine is different. Dr. Obersky is only using the original bioenergetic synchronization technique. The stuff I'm doing now is way the hell above that. So sometimes I'll get a client and in one session, their whole life changes. But there are many others where... Uh, see, I'm a, I'm a real emotional man, and as I was growing up as a child, I was uh, very, very, very wounded, and I was also mildly autistic. So what happened was I, I locked in the programming really strong, and the more emotion to the, the download that you get, the stronger it is, and then by entanglement, it becomes very huge complexes. Right. So, so what I end up having to do is disassemble those kind of complexes. So, with with the system that I that I personally went through, took a long time. But now, once I started getting Diksha, it accelerated. And and the man that's sitting in front of you now, uh, if you went back even just a couple of years ago, you you wouldn't even recognize. Tell us a bit about your system now. I want to know what, what you use that makes it work fast and how you can rewrite directly yeah. in the Akashic. Well, there's a, there's a number of things that, uh, um, through my through my uh, education. So there's a there's a let's say there's a couple of special pillars that I had to get. So one one is first and foremost um, my ability to channel the divine now is uh, really strong. And it's surgically accurate. So that's one. Number two, the science I'm using is uh, frequencies that are channeled by the divine. And um, they, the, when you think of the frequencies, you think of two basic types. D 
destructive interference waves and constructive interference waves. Destructive interference waves, if you look it up on Google and quantum physics, just means um, when the when the two destructive interference waves meet each other, they cancel to zero. Zero. Constructive interference waves, when they meet, they expand, grow, and and uh, multiply, or like the complexity increases. So uh, the other skill that's necessary in my case is I have to have a way, a very, very uh, surgically accurate way to talk to the divine, to your central nervous system, to your higher self, to the quantum field, and to the morphic field that everything is encased in. And I can do that. It took a long time, but I, I have that ability. So I can I can talk and find out whatever I need to find out. Then I have the knowledge of how everything is designed and, and how the universe works. Uh, I find the, the issue that's causing the problem. I eliminate the problem, and then I build up the system. And and then well, and then at the yeah. end, I have the divine personally bless you to endorse everything that you need and want. So the so there's there's my side being channeled by the divine, divine's leading, using all of the frequencies handling all of the field and then when that's done then there is the grace from the divine to top it i remove the problems that block you from grace once you are in grace you'll live like me i i live a life like uh, alice in wonderland but that's because it's uh, i have grace now so i don't have to struggle i don't struggle about anything what are some problems that can um, prevent you from receiving grace? Uh, real easy. <laughs> so for, first of all, if you have a victim and a uh, victim consciousness, that'll block you. That'll, that'll stop anything. Uh, number two, if you don't believe in God or the divine, and you think that you're doing all this stuff on your own, that'll block the divine. Um, if you are listening to uh, garbage noise like rap and all that other crap, that will block anything. That, that'll even give you cancer just by its frequency. Um, if you are uh, programmed from one end to the other, see, I one of the reasons I'm different, folks, I in my entire life, from childhood till now, I'm almost 70 years old. I have never looked at a newspaper. I don't ever watch the news. I never, I I wouldn't watch the news if you gave me a bag of diamonds. I, I have never been programmed by the normal garbage, ever. The only thing I've ever done is study under great, great, great masters, directly, heart to heart. And if you think that's easy, you're wrong. Try it sometime. But you, it's a personal relationship, and then the, the, the a great master, a real master. There's a transfer, and and you learn, and you grow, and you learn, and you grow. 